today, in our daily lives, uh, we expect everything, you know, real time, right? When people buy, people want it. I want it tomorrow, or if you can, I want it now, right? So, um, air cargo, for example, is facilitating in between the entire process. Right. Everything we want, we want it now, be it the latest iPhone or some exotic fruits from other corner of the world. And Air Cargo is making it happen. But it's not just Air Cargo who gets all the credit here. In fact, there's a series of people and a complex supply chain involved in the process that makes this shipment possible. E-commerce companies are already promising a 72-hour delivery service anywhere in the world. But how are they doing it? The answer is simple, an efficient and optimized supply chain. But now the question is, how do we optimize this supply chain while also making it sustainable? To answer that question, we welcome you to the fifth episode of Future of Transport, Innovative and Sustainable, an air cargo series delivered to you by Edmonton International Airport, YEG. At Edmonton International Airport, YEG, we can handle any size of operation, including oversized, heavyweight, and industrial cargo within the Port Alberta Foreign Trade Zone. Our IATA CEIV Pharma community has expertise handling all multi-temperature controlled shipments, including pharmaceuticals, perishable products, advanced agricultural, and high value added products. Access Canada, the US, and Mexico through a multimodal transportation hub that includes major highways and proximity to two national rail lines. This makes YEG a key hub between Asian and North American markets. Sustainability drives every aspect of our cargo business and on airport ecosystems, making Edmonton International Airport your best choice for investment to move our industry forward to a net zero future. Visit flyeia.com slash cargo. There is no doubt that air cargo provides a unique advantage over other modes of transport, enabling faster delivery of goods across borders over large distances. According to IATA, global air cargo demand is over 240 billion cargo ton kilometers annually, and the air cargo sector alone represents roughly 33% of global trade by value. And airports play a critical role in the movement of these goods by air. So, to optimize supply chains, the first thing we need to do is to have cargo-friendly airports, such as Edmonton International Airport, YEG. YEG offers two-way cargo demand to support cargo freighters and belly cargo opportunity for passenger operations, with 24-7, 365 days uncongested operations with no curfews or operating restrictions. They have on-site customs with efficient and quick clearance within the Port Alberta foreign trade zone. As well, they are the only airport in Canada certified by the Global Industry Standard for Pharmaceutical Logistics. Their IATA CEIV Pharma community supports a strong and well-connected pharma community that supports direct airside access to a fresh cargo center warehouse offering control from plus 25 degrees Celsius to minus 90 degrees Celsius. But what makes an airport a cargo-friendly airport? A cargo-friendly airport like Edmonton International Airport, Hong Kong International Airport, Memphis International Airport, and Frankfurt Airport is specially designed to optimize freight operations. These airports feature dedicated cargo terminals allowing freight forwarders and airlines direct control over handling processes. This setup accelerates loading, unloading, and pallet building operations, significantly reducing turnaround times compared to passenger-focused airports. Cargo terminals can go beyond loading and unloading. They are equipped for breaking down and building pallets, storing transit cargo, and retrieving goods using advanced technologies, often with minimal or no human intervention. They handle a wide variety of cargo types, including temperature-sensitive goods like pharmaceuticals requiring specialized cold chain facilities. This adds a complexity to cargo handling and processing but ensures goods are stored and transported under optimal conditions. 
Unlike passenger-friendly airports, which prioritize traveler comfort with amenities, dining, and city accessibility, cargo-friendly airports focus on logistics efficiency. Located near industrial hubs, they provide seamless access to rail, highways, and ports with infrastructure like longer runways, wider taxiways for large freighters, and 24-7 operations. With fewer delays and greater flexibility, they serve as essential hubs for global trade and air freight operations. However, cargo-friendly airports aren't the sole drivers of supply chain optimization. Without better management of the unit load devices or ULDs, air cargo efficiency is impossible. With nearly 900,000 ULDs globally, these vital tools often change hands multiple times, especially during interline airline transfers. Tracking them is a major challenge and every lost ULD means wasted time, money and disrupted operations. Improving ULD management is key to unlocking true efficiency in air cargo logistics. And one possible option is pooling ULDs. It can not only boost efficiency in the airport supply chain, but also enhance sustainability. The airlines benefit by not having to hold their own stocks. And generally speaking, when we enter into a pooling in, uh, arrangement, an airline can reduce the number of ULDs it needs by up to 20%. And that's massively significant. And the way that we're able to achieve that is by ensuring that an airline is able to take stock, uniload stock from where our stock levels are across the globe. So rather than having to wait for their own stocks, they use uniload stocks. We have an operations control center in Bangkok where we control the number of stocks that we have at each of our global airports. But how are ULD management companies decarbonizing the sector? So lightweight containers are very common to us and almost the whole Lufthansa cargo fleet is now equipped with lightweight containers and we offer it all to, our, to all our other customers. Second thing is um, that with our um, active um, ULD management, we try to reduce the transport of empty containers as much as possible. So uh, the unnecessary transport of air in the air is reduced by us uh, as, as best as possible. However, without connectivity and proper transparency across the supply chain, will the air cargo sector be able to improve operational efficiency? No, they need something more. In fact, with growing air cargo demand and increased complexity, Airport Cargo Community Systems, or ACCS, can offer a transformative solution. The air cargo industry pressured by rapid delivery demands faces significant documentation challenges. Each shipment requiring 30 types of documents and over 100 copies according to IATA. ACCS reduces paperwork, enhances traceability and streamlines communication among stakeholders, minimizing errors and preventing cargo loss or theft. Airport Cargo Community System, a cloud-based platform, unifies stakeholders through a single digital window, providing real-time updates, harmonizing data, and ensuring transparency. With robust stress and tracking, abundant cargo is swiftly addressed and security becomes an integral feature, enabling a seamless and efficient air cargo ecosystem. In fact, when asked about CCS can help in reducing airport delays, congestion and eventually boost efficiency, Geom Crozer, SVB, UAE Cargo and Global Cargo Strategy at Dinada mentioned to address capacity constraints and airport congestion. Firstly, it is essential that the CCS must integrate with the appointment and docking system and the traffic management system. This allows for advanced planning of cargo delivery and acceptance prior to flight arrivals and departures. But how is it actually creating an impact in an airport or aiding sustainability efforts? Cargo community systems can play a crucial role in optimizing supply chains and enhancing sustainability in the air freight sector. Efficient processes generally lead to greater sustainability. Major logistics hubs such as Frankfurt Airport particularly benefit in these systems by maximizing resource utilization through economies of scale. 
For example, at Frankfurt Airport, the cargo community system is operated by Elevate, a joint venture between Fraport, the airport operator, and the software company Dacosi. This system strengthens collaboration, integration, and networking amongst all stakeholders of the community at the airport. Additionally, the CCS facilitates faster customs clearance processes by digitizing and standardizing customs documentation, helping to reduce delays at borders and airports. In the highly competitive air cargo industry, maximizing the use of every cubic inch of available space is critical for carriers to drive profitability and operational efficiency. Manual load planning methods, which rely on spreadsheets and intuition, often results in error, underutilized capacity, and higher cost. Inefficiencies like overbooking, last-minute adjustments, and delays not only impact profit margins, but also affect customer satisfaction and trust. This is where digitization plays a transformative role. Automated load planning, powered by AI, data analytics, and real-time optimization tools allows carriers to pack cargo more effectively, minimize fuel consumption, and adapt to dynamic market changes with ease. By reducing manual errors and streamlining operations, the systems provide faster shipping times, cost savings, and improved service quality. However, digitization doesn't stop at automation. It opens the doors to advanced technologies like robotics, big data, and digital air freight corridors, creating a comprehensive air cargo community system that ensures efficiency and sustainability. With these tools, carriers can go beyond basic optimization to establish smarter, greener, and more profitable operations. If you are still wondering why the air cargo sector must embrace digitization to boost both efficiency and sustainability, let's hear directly from IATA's Head of Digital Cargo. But if you think about it, air cargo is not just uh, taking parcels in an airplane or cargo and then delivering it in an airport. It's the whole supply chain. It's from the manufacturer to the consignee on the other side of the world. There's a lot of parties in between, as we'll see a little bit later. And the ability to understand their environmental impact together and individually really helps us to optimize the environmental impact and reduce it. Another one that's a big one currently is capacity fluctuations. We've seen the charge earlier about what happened during the pandemic. But even post-pandemic, we've seen the geopolitical issues and freight having to find new routes around the world. The ability to understand what those routes are, how to adapt quickly to them, requires very clear information about where the problems are, where the, where the, uh, where the capacity is needed and how you respond to that. So again, digitalization is a big tool in the uh, toolkit for airlines to deal with that. So to know more about how the air cargo sector is digitizing itself, leveraging data analytics and building a way towards more efficient and more sustainable future, Stay tuned with us and keep watching the series Future of Transport, Innovative and Sustainable, an air cargo series delivered to you by Edmonton International Airport, YG.